Welcome to the beautiful Westin Punta Cana Resort. A beautiful resort in the Caribbean on the Dominican Republic island, right? Yes, it's an island. island. I know Haiti's a part of it, and then the DR is most of it. My name is Allison. Our grandkids call me Yaya. And my name's Willie. My grandchildren call me G Pop, not G Poop. <laughs> Behind your back, they call you too. No, God, I hope not. They don't. Look at this beautiful resort. Uh, Bam! Take me, hottie. It's a rocket body. Cool margaritas. You can't beat it. <laughs> the local cab driver uh, suggested La Yola. So here's a few pictures from that first dinner on the island. had such beautiful views and dinner was amazing. I had sea bass and like truffle mashed potatoes and there's some ceviche that was really d delicious. We don't know why they have a crossing for pregnant ladies. <laughs> but <laughs> or what the sign meant. Or we don't a have a clue. <laughs> so back to the West End and look at how beautiful. It's just so many photo ops here beautiful places to see. One of the things I love to do is always um, hire a real estate agent for one of the days we were there. They seem to be a wealth of information and can tell you all the history and it's like a free day trip. Yeah, they really do have a local's point of view. They can tell you the best places to shop and eat and play. And this play of beach is one that was suggested by the real estate agent that was right next to our resort and we weren't even aware. Here's a couple really cool pictures of it. So we asked the hotel okay, the best place to go okay, for well, shopping. Get ready style. to go to <laughs> the mall. The, the Blue Moon Mall here in Punta Cana. Yeah. Or right outside Punta Cana Resort here. In, the market. Nacional. In the market only because we don't want to pay $70 for a drink and a plate of cheese wow. tonight. <laughs> or maybe we do. Because that's who we become. I love you. Bye-bye. So here we are at the uh, Nacional Market. And I am looking for some local hot sauce because I'm a hot sauce addict. But I think their local hot sauce is Tabasco. Because okay. every time you ask for hot sauce, you get Tabasco. <laughs> and here's Yaya -Ya, right here trying to find hot sauce to no avail. <laughs> but look at what you can find here. Oh my gosh. It certainly did not look like any third world market to me. The beef and the fish was extraordinary selection. And everything's so fresh. And really, this is a huge market. Like, it's a huge store. But there is no downtown market. You have the mall or the grocery store. <laughs> hey, baby, how was that? Sushi. Mm, it's pretty good. <laughs> What's it called? This is the dragon roll. Dragon roll. Here we have the spicy tuna roll. We came all the way to Dominican Republic <laughs> to eat uh, Japanese food. Thank you very much. And it's lovely. And you're lovely. You are. Oh, that's right. So we wanted to go on an excursion. Um, it's interesting because all the excursions are on the Punta Cana resort area. Um, we chose to go boogie riding and horseback riding. So here's my wonderful wife purchasing a buggy or boogie, as they call it, package. Where are we gonna be tomorrow? Oh, me, me, me. <laughs> and then gallop, gallop, gallop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> gonna go ATV in and horseback riding tomorrow. All right. But right now, uno mas margarita, por favor. Which means I'm getting fucked up. Mm -hmm. My margarita's at the pool. <laughs> Look at the pool, though. No, that's okay. Beautiful. That is beautiful. 
Honey, did you make reservations at the restaurant tonight? It is Friday night. It might be hard to get in. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> this was the hotel at the restaurant. I mean, <laughs> the restaurant at the hotel. <laughs> On a Friday night, COVID. COVID. <laughs> Thank you, sir. the only ones in the entire restaurant. On Friday night. I oh, know. Friday night. <laughs> At the West. Punta Cana. Crazy. Hey, baby. Say something beautiful. Something beautiful. Photo op outside the restaurant that night. Same restaurant next morning. Packed. And look at this Benedict. And the wonderful local hot sauce on the table there. Don't test the dinosaurs so fast. Look at the one back there. Don't feed the dinosaur. Oh, it's cinnamon. <laughs> I don't know why they have dinosaurs all over this property, but they do, so. Photo op. <laughs> Okay, so we're getting loaded into the buggies, which are absolutely hunks of junk. It takes like five minutes for them to get them all started. The Frank and boogies. Frank and boogies. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't mean they weren't fun. It just means it adds to, <laughs> added to the excitement. They're rough. <laughs> <laughs> are we going to survive? We it's don't so know. so <laughs> dusty. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> But there was lots of lots of fun, it and really we did was. go to the ocean. <laughs> G Pop loves to drive fast, and we're on a racetrack, and he's showing off. Woohoo! <laughs> We're having so much fun, and then... <laughs> Bam! <laughs> <laughs> we think we hurt something. <laughs> because this oh, is what <laughs> Broken tie rod. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. <laughs> So we got a little cleaned up and then we have to wait for the horses. With some local music playing, Yaya was feeling the mode. <laughs> I do like me some music. <laughs> Photo op. <laughs> so I wasn't sure which was the ladies and which was the men's. <laughs> but I pointed it out for her. <laughs> After the buggy ride, a quick dip into the ocean to get rid of all the dust. Clean my hat off from all the dust from the buggy ride. Boogie and horses. Boogie and horses. Okay, here's Allison trying to figure out how to print off our COVID results. COVID results that we have to have to get on the airport tomorrow. Yeah, because Just, the Wi-Fi keeps going out, so we don't want to chance it being on our phone and not being able to access it. So we're printing. That's right. First. And it only took a half hour. <laughs> For some reason, the local printer in the hotel lobby is not working, so we had to email it to the guy, and he was real helpful. He is. Everyone's been helpful. Thank you, Heidi. Thank you, Heidi. Punta 
Americana golf course. How lovely. So lovely. So lovely. So another lovely night out at the grill on the Punta Cana golf course, which is really immaculate. It's beautiful property. It was a little breezy. Camera on my boobs. <laughs> well, I think it's this soft, romantic, breezy, warm evening with an old fashioned and some really good food and a solid cut dress. I'm getting lucky. <laughs> Bam! Hopefully, I am. Hopefully. <laughs> you turn the camera off. <laughs> You're more likely. <laughs> oh my god, it is so good. <laughs> Chocolate mousse from the grill, Putacana. Putacana? Putacana. Pusicana. Puntacana. Pusicana. Punta. Pana. And they have crunchy bits on top. Oh my God. So good. The lovely people at this resort go out of their way to make you feel special. Okay, sir. So okay, so our last day here. Allison's up in the room, finishing packing. I went and got some cash out of the machine to tip everybody because it appears that I got lucky because my hat is crooked, I can't think, and my sunglasses are out of shape. Hopefully that's his wife. I don't know how that happened. Take a quick twist around. Goodbye pool. Goodbye beach. Goodbye VR sunshine. It really is, the air here is just beautiful. Even when it's hot, there's a nice breeze. Anyway, we get to go home and see our kitty and our children. <laughs> and our wonderful grandbabies. Get back to work. Allison just said a minute ago, but I didn't have the record button on that this airport was owned by one of the families, Punta Cana family, owned, or some family owns Punta Cana Resort, another one owns Capa Cana Resort area, but the Punta Cana family actually built and owned the airport, which I thought is crazy cool. Oh yeah, guys, and relationship advice. Always let your wife buy her souvenirs by herself because first of all, um, you probably don't want to see how much she's spending and how many people she's actually buying for. So it's better for you just to sit, let her do it, and pretend it never happened. And also, you need to be aware that her buses pick you up from the airplane and run you back and forth to the terminal. Where should we go next, people? Where should we go? Close it.